For this anime tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I made this anime scene. What I did first for this anime scene is that I model the base layout first. So, as you can see, there are mountains here and just some simple modeling bases. So, for the mountains, you can just go to your file, preferences, add-ons, then search landscape. Then just enable the add mesh and landscape. And next, for the simple bases, you can just simply turn on the proportional editing because we need to have some, you know, bump sides here like this. And why is that? Because our reference is a grassy landscape and grassy landscape are not flat. There are some lumps on it. So that's the modeling process for these simple bases. And another thing for the mountain models. So as you can see, this is the default landscape mountain model. Then I shade smooth it. Then I add a displace modifier. Then I set the strength to zero or negative 0 0.05. So you can see the sharp edges there. So another thing for modeling anime scenes, your models is not necessary to be perfect because you will see for a while. So why it is not needed to be perfect. And next for the material shading, what I did here for this project is procedural texture first because later you will see how I paint over this using grease pencil. And what I did here is that as much as possible, I make it look the same as the reference because it is very important to make it very look alike first before painting over it. So here's the nodes. You can just pause the video if you want to or maybe take some screenshots. And I know this node is not perfect and you can possibly remake it. For the mountains, it's just simply this. You can, stick, you can pause the video or take screenshots if you want to. And lastly, the road. So for the road, I use gradient textures here. I hope you can see it. Let me zoom it here. Okay, another tip is that if you see this middle part, it has a darker portion of it, right? So what you can do here is that to set the light in negative value. So if it's a value of 1, you can see it's lighter. But if you set to like negative 300, now you have a shadow. You can fake shadows. And this is very powerful. Next step, what I did is open the 2D animation tab and go to 2D animation. Now, take a look at this. I painted over it and I tried my best to look the same as the reference. So what I did here is just very simple. But before that, you can go to the preferences again, add-ons, and search grease pencil. Check the object grease pencil tools. Now, after enabling that brush presets, you can go to your grease pencil, go to draw mode, go to draw mode. Then you can simply 
Download and Import Texture Brush Pack. Then, as you can see here, you have different brushes. And this is very powerful if you apply it into your 2D animation projects like this. So what I, the brush that I use here for this project is this spray, this texture oil tool, and the marker, this one, as well as the airbrush. Next, for the painting process, you can just simply set this into front, then set. And this is important. You need to set it into surface. So for painting this, you can just simply maybe this one spray. And by the way, you can set the radius to like 1000 or something like that. And here's an example of me painting these styles. You can just simply see this. Set the strength to 1. Maybe choose color white. And as you can see, it's very simple. It just sticks to the 3D model because it's set on surface mode. Maybe set this like that or decrease the strength. And you can go to advanced and stroke. Check the randomize if you want to. There are so many possibilities, but in this project, it's just simple settings. So you need so you don't need to worry about it much. Lastly, for the painting process, you can also make your own anime texture brush. And I will just have a link for that tutorial. Just check it in the description. You could also make your 2D anime trees here by using your own brush. Or maybe you can also make your trees in different software. And this is self-explanatory. And I know you can already make this. You just need some basic painting skills. Next step is the assets. So, assets and animations. So, the, for the assets, you can use free models or make your own like this. So, I'm going to show you. So, I'm going to show you my node setup for the helicopter. Just simply take this. Just a simple node setup. And you can get the military in Google. Search for free pictures. Then you could also make your own military style by doing this. And this is procedural. You can just take screenshots or post a video so that you can take so that you can take a screenshot. Okay. So for this case, I'm going to use the military.jpg. Okay, so for the animation, this effects is to the anime effects. I'm going to make a new tutorial series for this because I don't like this tutorial to be time consuming. So for the effect of the blades of the helicopter, okay, you can screenshot, pause and screenshot first. Okay, and I know... You could pause that anytime. So, as you can see, if you know the hyperbolic effect, like the like the fidget spinner, if you spin your fidget spinner or the, your or a fidget spinner very fast, it lo it looks like it does not spin, right? Because it is very fast. So it gives us the hyperbolic illusion. So I made this for the pro 
for the blades of the helicopter and to make that you can copy this drive sign hyperbolic or, the, or hyperbolic sign frame divided by 25 plus 4 because h stands for hyperbolic or hyperbola so as you can see give us the effect of that next just simple animation for the vehicles out there and we're almost done for the final process which is the composition now composition is pretty not that fast to make inside blender but I assume that others there are pretty expert now so maybe for you it's easy but in this case this project the composition here is mostly made in after effects and i recommend you to maybe study or learn some basic after effects i will do a tutorial for that soon blender plus after effects so stay tuned for more and in this case i did some basic compositing inside blender but it's just a simple vignette or vignette and you can go take a screenshot of this then we're done you could also use lens flare inside blender you could search a tutorial for that i will just put a link down below or you can also make it in after effects thank you guys for watching see you soon